What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another video. Season 13's here, and I know it's taking a little while to get this video together, but I wanted to play Season 13 and, you know, play on a whole bunch of different settings and really come with the best settings for this season and controller. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things today, okay? We're gonna talk about normal sensitivities, we're gonna talk about ALC sensitivities, we're gonna talk about tap strafing, we're gonna talk about everything. So, let's get busy. Okay, we're gonna go straight into it. We're not gonna bullshit around. We're gonna go through everything right here. If you're a newer player, um, definitely pay attention to this. I'm gonna get your settings right. I'm not gonna explain a lot of these things. Come on, we're 13 seasons in. If you don't know what it is, it means, just trust in me. I've been playing this game for 13 seasons. I've been soloing the Pred Masters. Like, I do this shit, okay? Interact prompt style, keep that on compact. Button hits, keep it on off. Crosshair damage, feedback, keep it on off. Damage numbers, keep it on stacking. Ping opacity, keep it on faded obituaries on mini map rotation off weapon cycles on weapon auto cycle on empty keep this off you have grown at you know what i'm saying come on you do this auto sprint i keep it on on because i use tap strafe now um before i would keep it off i just didn't like on it felt weird to me um but if you want to tap strafe keep this on we're gonna be going that you're gonna need tap strafe on pc by the way on controller so console people i'm sorry but double tap sprint keep it off jetpack control keep it on hold for valkyrie this is way better than taco if you keep it on taco you will struggle incoming damage feedback keep it on 3d taking damage closes death box or crafting menu keep it on off um if you're looting a box and someone with a charge rifle from across the map three pois over hits you while you're in the box it's going to kick you out the box you're not going to be able to get the armor swap you're not going to be able to loot keep this off trust me hop up pop up i keep it off Streamer mode, this is the whack streamer mode. Anonymous mode, this is the real streamer mode. <laughs> if you're a streamer, enable it. If you're not, disable it, who cares? Doesn't matter. Everything else is like, whatever, who cares? Reticle, I, 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 everybody always comes to my chat and they're like, Reggie, Reggie, what's your, what's, what's the numbers for your reticle? It's red, it's orange, it's yellow. Whatever color I pick for the day, I don't really care about this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is all preference. I don't use any one color because it's better than the other color. I simply change my colors because I feel like using a different color that day. That is really it. My brain doesn't work that hard. I just, that's it. That's literally it. I'm going to put green for now. I like green. Fuck it. <laughs> Everything else is just bullshit. Don't fuck with that. Button layout. I put this on evolved. If you do not own a scuff controller, or a battle beaver or a controller that has back buttons i am telling you right now i am somebody who does not use the stuff like that i use a normal ps5 controller and when i was on ps4 i use a normal ps4 controller um i don't use an xbox controller this is just steam just it, that's what it does it just shows as the xbox controller i don't know why because steam is stupid um <clears throat> but yet if you do not use a scuff or a battle beaver use evolve it will change your life i promise you jumping with l1 you're able to jump and aim at the same time crouch on the stick you're able to crouch strafe and shoot at the same time while keeping your aim on people now if you play default you can do things like claw but that shit fucks up your wrist bro you don't want to do that shit i'm telling you evolve is the way to go trust me i put a couple people on evolved and they love evolved after a while at first they're like I can't change, man. I suck. And it's okay. You gotta, you gotta practice with stuff. You gotta play with stuff. I'm telling you. Evolve is the best one to use. Stick loadout, keep that on default. Interact reload button, keep that on tap to use and reload. Crouch, I use toggle. A lot of people are gonna tell you to use hold because it's better. I personally, my brain can't comp, my brain can't comprehend hold, so I use toggle. I, I, like it's just, it's just a me thing. Aim button on hold. Survival slot button, I keep that on off because I like to flip my Wraith knife. Trigger dead zones, I keep on none because as soon as I press my button, I want to be shooting. Menu cursor speed, I keep it around here because that's just what I like. <laughs> God damn. Okay, I'm going to go over normal sensitivities first. So, my favorite settings are 5, 3, classic, no dead zone. If you're playing classic, you want zero dead zone. If you have stick drift, you need a new controller. Or if you have stick drift, keep put it on small. But your goal as a classic player is to use no dead zone. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something straight up right now. There is five different response curves: classic, steady, fine aim, high velocity, and linear. There's only two that's viable. This is trash. This is trash. This is trash. This is the worst one of all. Don't use these three. Don't use steady, fine aim, high velocity. Awful. No good player is using that. They only use classic or they use linear. 
With linear, you get stick drift. You know how to combat the stick drift? Small dead zone. See how it's not moving anymore? Only when I move it. Linear is really good for the gamers, okay? The motherfuckers who game game, you know what I'm saying? I highly suggest not using linear if you don't play this game 10 to 12 hours a day. Classic is the best and most consistent with no dead zone. Classic is the best and most consistent in my opinion. Oh, yuck. Ugh, I fucked up a little there. Okay, listen. I, was, I don't play on these settings anymore, but these are, these, you know, when I'm... When I'm on my shit, you can tell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm out here, I'm out here cooking. That's the best settings right here for the normal shit. Vibration off, because you're not a psychopath. Movement dead zone, you want that on small. Now we're gonna go to advanced AOCs. These are my AOCs. My perfect, my babies. I love these AOCs. These are my favorite AOCs I've ever created. Seven response curve, two percent dead zone, because that's that's what I need. When I put zero percent dead zone, I get a little stick drift. And this is not a problem, really. I can control stick drift. I can control stick drift really well, so it's, it's really not a problem, but I just don't like it, me personally. You can play with stick drift and it's, it's really not a problem. I keep it on two. That stops my stick drift, as you can see. It stops my stick drift. And yeah, whatever. Yeah, I use seven response curve. It feels like classic, but it also gives me that linear feel, you know what I'm saying? So it's very smooth, very good, very accurate. Uh, I put 350, 350. This is about five, almost six turning speed. ADS 130, ADS pitch sheet 100. And he has pitch speed 100. Um, all this extra shit, you don't really need all this extra shit. You can fuck around with it if you want. This basically just adds, you have two sensitivities, right? You have the first one, which is 350, right? This is my hit fire 350. This is 350, right? Now I'm gonna extend my stick all the way to the edge and it's gonna be like 500. See that? And that's faster sense. You have one sense, two cents. One sense, two cents. You use the first sense for hit firing and stuff. Being, being smooth hit firing and the second sense is to turn around fast you know turn around fast turn around fast that's what that's for so i don't really use it i don't like it i feel very inconsistent when i do that i don't mind my sense being a little slower because it, it's fast enough to turn around you know and and beam somebody so i don't really care um yeah those are my alc settings i'll explain response curve and dead zone for you guys zero is linear 10 is classic like I said on the previous ones, it still applies here. With 10 classic, I get no stick drift with zero dead zone. Absolutely still just, absolutely zero stick drift. It's perfect with classic, right? Once I move to linear, stick drift comes, right? Fucks up my aim a little bit. Add the dead zone. Mine's is three. If you use more than three, you probably need a new controller. You need a brand new spanking controller. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just get a new controller. It's, it's fucked up. And if you if you can't if you can't afford a new controller, trust me, I've been there. You'll just fuck around with this. You'll fuck around. You, you'll keep raising it until the stick drift goes away. You just keep raising it until the stick drift goes away. That's really it. Um, other really good response curves are five. I like five and I like nine five i need a three percent dead zone yet again no stick drift at all again my favorite is seven with a two percent with a two percent on nine you can also use zero also really good as well um but like i said you're here for my settings my settings are two percent dead zone seven response curve 350 350 130 100 I explained what response curve and dead zone is. I taught you guys how to use it. And yeah, now we're going to get into video. It, I don't use normal apex visuals. Aspect ratio changes everything, right? So this is the original 16, 16 by nine native 1440 for me. Cause I got a 1440 monitor. So this is the normal apex. As you can see, he's a little smaller. The guy He's a little chunky. Oh, that was a little lag. He's a little less chunky, right? Everything's a little less chunkier. Everything's like expanded a little bit, right? But when I switch this to 16 by 10 and I put it at the highest resolution because I want my game to look good. They get a little chunkier, you see? Let me move my mouse. They get a little chunkier, you know? 
So this is this is really good. I love this. I don't know why. I've been using this for like a couple weeks now. I've seen a lot of improvements in my aim. Especially up close on controller because everybody's so big. You know what I'm saying? You see how they're a lot bigger than the normal one. Um, don't use this. This is really bad. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like a movie. It actually looks really cool. Like I feel like I'm in a movie when I when I do this. Everybody looks everybody looks way bigger than before. And yeah, it's just so it's so funny. It looks like a movie, you know, but for video purposes, when I do YouTube and stuff, I can't do this. I don't really like it either. Like, I don't know. I just like the other one way better. I like the other one way better. So yeah, I use 16 by 10, 1920 by 1200. And yeah, I'll go over the video settings for myself. This is for my computer. My computer is a fucking monster, okay? Which is why I can keep almost everything. I can keep everything on and nothing changes, you know? Nothing changes about my uh my game because I have a really good computer. However, for people who don't have good computers or have medium computers, I'm gonna go through this. Vsync, keep it disabled. Enable plus boost, keep this on zero. TSAA, if you're having troubles with your computer, you wanna keep this on low or very low. You don't really need it to be higher. I just keep it higher because I like everything to look good for my videos. Um, 16 by 16 for myself, but you, you have to use bilinear or two if you're having problems with your computer. Uh, I keep this on high. You can, you can disable this. You can keep this on low, low, disable, disable, disable. You keep this on medium model detail. Keep it on medium. Cause sometimes when you look through down really long hallways, like for example, bonsai in Olympus, if you look down that long rope, you're not going to be able to see the bottom if it's on low. So you want to keep this on medium or high. Um, you can keep this on low, low, low. I keep it on there. Cause like I said, I just got a good computer. I, just, I don't care, you know? And yeah, now we're going to get into the tap strafing. Oh, that's me going to record. <laughs> okay. So tap strafing, you're going to open your steam. You're going to click on this little cog wheel. You're going to click on properties. You're going to click on controller. You're going to enable steam input. Then you're going to go to controller general settings. You're going to keep this on. You're going to keep this on and you're going to keep this on. You're going to go back. And now it should say controller loadout. Before you did this, if you didn't have those on, this will not show up. Doing all this makes this show up. So then you click on this, a little controller screen comes up. Uh, I'm going to do it fresh for you guys, just so you guys know. So I'm going to reset everything. All right. So from scratch, this is how it, your screen looks. What you're going to do is you're going to click this. You're going to click this. You're going to put directional path. You're going to drop this all the way down to E. You're going to drop your dead zone down. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click this, hit W. You're going to hit W once again, and then you're going to look at this show activators. You're going to click on this. You're going to turn this on, and then you're going to repeat the repeat rate all the way up. You're going to click on this. You're going to go to D. You're going to hit D again, show activators on all the way up. You're going to do the same thing here. S. Boom, boom, boom. All the way oh all the way oh all the way up <laughs> back you can hit a on all the way up back you're gonna click mode shift button you're gonna click joystick click you're going to click action if you like to use two by fours and one by twos like switch between the two you're gonna hit this and then you're gonna hit the analog stick and that's it. You set up tap strafing perfectly. You're done here. I have to restart Apex now because my controller is not going to work. You have to restart. <clears throat> you have to restart for it to work. Right. Back at it. Like a crack at it. To the firing range we go. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to tap strafe. Different ways to tap strafe. And I'm going to teach you octane pad tap strafing as well. All right. Tap strafing. As you can see, I'm really good at tap strafing. It's not that hard to do. It's just whatever. We'll get into it right now. Okay, tap strafing. Um, we're gonna grab Octane real quick. How to tap strafe is every time you slide jump, you will click your left stick and you'll move the stick in the direction you want to tap strafe and you'll look that way. So I move it right and I look this way. I move it left and I look this way. Or you can hold it straight and you can just look that way and it'll do it as well. So, boom. 
boom boom you do you do circles as well click it and just do a circle whatever you do with your stick you have to be jumping you cannot click your stick you have to keep auto sprint on auto sprint has to be on if you have it off this is what's gonna happen you're not gonna be able to run and it's gonna keep doing this even on auto sprint if you click your stick it's gonna stop you from running and it's gonna do this so you have to learn auto sprint if you're not good with it. You have to learn it for this. See, little 180 to the wall jump real quick. Let me show you real quick how I get down. You know, what little 180 to the wall jump over the wall. Like it's really, it's really good. You also want to, to wall jump. I'm sure you guys know how to do a wall jump. Then you tap strafe and then you click it after jump and then you click it and look that way to do it on octane pads i will show you right now okay what you're gonna do when you pad is you're gonna crouch into the pad and whenever you want to tap shape you're going to click the stick move it in the direction you want to do it you have to look in that direction and jump at the same time it's all one it's all one motion you click you jump click and look in the direction you want to go at the same time so you can do it late at the same time all at the same time it's all one motion you can do it early all at the same time it's really really easy once you get the hang of it all at the same time you know what i'm saying so that's how you tap shift off octane jump pads yeah so yeah there's your tap strafing tutorial how to set it up there's your settings video your alc settings video um I hope you guys enjoyed today's video slap the like button if you fuck with me i promise you like i make amazing content uh i make i make funny videos good videos rank videos pub videos i just i be doing a whole bunch of shit bro so slap the like button for me get the video out there subscribe if you're new and i am gonna see you on the next one